Hi, I'm Jared Chester with Bex Hybrids PFR, and today with me is Mike Schwegman from Capstan Ag. We're here at our London, Ohio site to try out the new seed squirter technology from Capstan Ag. Mike, you want to tell us a little bit about how we're going to walk through those steps today? So what we normally do when we install every single system we do, we like to come back out on the day they're going to run and uh, be able to verify the squirt placement is where you guys want it at for the product you're going to be applying, whether it's on the seed or in between the seeds. We also want to make sure the system is going to run like we've advertised to make sure it's going to work and everything is going to work out very well for the customer. Well, we're going to try it on two studies this year. Um, basically, what we want to figure out is we see a lot of success with Inferro products, but the problem right now with the market and commodity prices is just the price and trying to get our return on investment to work out. So the thought is if we can run some of these products where we've had success in the past and just cut back our rate through actual placement right on the seed, then we think we can get a lot of these in products to really pay. So we're excited to see how that works out and uh, we're trying it here in London and also at the home office there in Indiana. So one of the cool functions with Seed Squirter is that you get this remote to go with it as well. What you're able to do is that you're able to test each row individually to see if you have a plug tip or just to make sure it's functioning properly. You also get to turn the pump on from here so you can shut it off and on from being out behind the planter and you can retest each row. So for example, here we're on row number six. I push the re button to do it again, and we can continuously pulse our system just to make sure that it's working. If you have a plug tip, you might be able to blow the dirt out. I'm gonna show you some of the basics operations of how to operate seed squirter inside of your screen. So from your main run screen, you locate your ISO bus tab. You push on it, and this is our main home screen here. To be able to run, all you do is push your mode to auto and your system control to run. This will automatically control your pressure and this will squirt every time a seed gets planted. From this screen you get to see your rate, how fast you're going, the pressure you're at, and also how many gallons is left in your tank. When you actually want to find, and not find, but set up your planter, you put in your basic operation of how many uh, populations you're going to be planting, how many rows it is, so on and so forth. But you put on your target uh, rate here, and to do these, you just push in that button and you push uh, your target rate that you want to achieve. What's also nice is your distance from the seed. So right now it shows your kernel and there's your squirt length. If we wanted the product, if it was a seed safe product, we would put it on a seed. You would just tell it that you wanted it to be minus 1.5. It's going to pop up a warning to tell you you're going to put your product on your seed. You accept that, and now you can see your squirt has now moved underneath of the seed. One thing I really like about the Capstan Ag Seed Squirter system is one, they came out and did the install, and their install was very clean. It, it was like you did it yourself. Also, with their support, their support, uh, whenever you have a question, you can call. Maybe they won't get back to you right then, but they'll get back with you pretty quick. They're a great company to work for, and I haven't, we haven't had any problems. They always give you the right answer. Um, also, it's very easy with a user interface. We use it on a Trimble FMX, and uh, it's just no need for another monitor. There's tabs on the side. You can hit in what you want, and uh, you go right to the field. It's very easy to use and very simplistic. Mike, thanks again for coming out and helping us not only install the Seed Squirter product, but also making sure we were calibrated and running the way we were supposed to. So if you like the video today, make sure you like or subscribe. And if you have any questions, comment below using hashtag AskPFR. Thanks again for watching, and this has been another PFR Report.